About a month away from the election, and at times over the next uh, four weeks or so, we'll be introducing you to candidates in various contested races around the region. Today, joining us in the studio is Joan Malekian. She is a candidate for Calhoun County Clerk. Joan, good morning. Good morning, Richard. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks for being here today. What's motivating you here? I would say encouragement okay. from people, friends. Um, I think there comes a time when it's time for change, something mm -hmm. different. I think after uh, one person being in an office for 28 years, there probably comes a, a level of complacency and maybe not seeing the bigger picture of more current issues. They're used to doing things the way they've done it in the past. My approach is get in, bring a fresh approach, look at things that maybe weren't looked at before, um, specifically voter registration, voter turnout, um, polling places that need to be updated, um, just modernizing the technology, making it current and readily available, and, of course, a, a presence in the office, customer service, face-to-face, -face, okay. on the phone, emails, whatever it takes. All right, and we'll talk a little bit more about, about those issues in a moment. Let's talk about your experience first, and let's tell folks uh, what you've been up to all this time. Ah, all this time. Well, <laughs> plenty of uh, professional work experience. So I have done many things. Um, I got my education and my experience by hands-on, diving in, jumping in, doing many different things, um, from private investigations to a short time working at the Secretary of State's office uh, there in Battle Creek, and um, administrative assistant. So I'm used to just doing what needs to get the job done, answering to people. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a people person, customer service, record retention, um, following guidelines set forth either governmental entities or in the private sector. So answering to people. Customer service is really what I'm about. I'm a people person. So I think rather than having, like currently I work uh, in Kalamazoo for now the Central County Transit Authority, mm -hmm. which used to be uh, Metro Transit. Sure. So I answer to bosses and leaders, and that's what I've done primarily in my whole life. This is just taking it on a much bigger level and answering to approximately somewhere upwards of 102,000 bosses, which would be all the registered voters in Calhoun <laughs> County. So that's my primary focus, and that's what I've been up to. And I just think life experience is what has brought me to this point, just taking it a bit further and really doing something a bit more meaningful, more um, civic-minded a more significant life, I like to say. All right. Joan Malekian is here, candidate for Calhoun County Clerk. And we'll understand a little bit better what she's talking about as it relates to uh, some of the things she's mentioned that she'd like to see changed in that office. And we'll get to that in a moment on WBCK. Joan Malekian is here this half hour, candidate for Calhoun County Clerk. You mentioned in, in the number of things that you talked about there, just briefly, the issues of concern that you have uh, in the clerk's office, voter turnout. This is just an area where folks, uh, boy, we, when we hear those numbers, we wish they were higher. Oh, absolutely. Um, and I, I don't know what the what the problem is, the interest is. I think people get overwhelmed. Certainly, I've fallen victim to that um <laughs> in younger years it's you're busy going to school or working a job and so you don't really get into politics and i can't say that i had ever really gotten into politics this is my first leap into this and um i think people just don't know or maybe they're afraid to ask the questions or the limited education they get maybe in high school from teachers from a government class which mm. is a great beginning but i think it needs to be ongoing i think it needs to be encouraged i'm from the era of when you turned 18 it was an event to go mm -hmm. down to the Secretary of State's office and register to vote. It sure. was right up there with getting your driver's license. It was an event. I looked forward to it, and it was right on my birthday. And I think people don't have that mm -hmm. feeling anymore. So I think going into schools, educating them, talking to them, it can be intimidating. You're not sure what you're doing. And maybe taking the fear out of it and showing them ballots, how it works, um, that their every vote does count. So you're saying that a clerk needs to be more interactive with the community to encourage voting. 
Absolutely. Hands on. Get out there into the public. Talk to them. Go to the high schools, the colleges. Um, show them. Invite people into their office. Show them how um, the deputy um, of elections works in, in her area and the numbers that are coming in and how mm -hmm. the numbers have decreased and increased depending on, you know, the political climate of the nation, mm -hmm. really. Um, I think, of course, the big ticket items, presidential race is, is a huge factor and it would be nice to get back to the thought of voting for somebody and not swaying your vote because you don't like somebody. Oh, mm -hmm. You know, you want to be in support of somebody and not say, well, I like this, I like this one better, so I'm going to vote right. that way. Um, Certainly yeah, heard no a problems. lot of that this year, haven't we? Oh, ab <laughs> absolutely. So I think education and just reaching out to people and talking. What about the process of voting itself? Is there, uh, are there any concerns you have there or any changes you'd make? Um, you know, it's a great question. Um, I haven't looked at it all that closely. Just I don't have the opportunity to look at confidential things like that. Sure. Um, but certainly looking at the ballot and the sample ballots that I've seen um, coming out, I'm a big fan of the go back to the punch a dot, um, the okay. hanging chads and all that. I think it's a cleaner, smoother, no denying what the what your vote was, where the drawing, the line, and the, you know, just one small little mark on there can throw it off. So I think accuracy is very important. But that's my personal preference, but that would be something I would definitely want to look into um, once in office. And just really going through everything with a fine tooth comb and finding out where the shortfalls are or where it can be improved for seniors, first time voters, mm -hmm. people that are unsure um, as long as well as the lines to vote. Do you have concerns about the technology portion of voting? <sighs> I think in this day and age, we are all so reliable on technology and where it's kind of a blind following that, oh, it's accurate. It's right. If it's on the Internet, it's got to be true. Mm -hmm. And we're all learning uh, firsthand that it's not always true. So that would be a whole nother area to look into, but certainly well worth looking into. Mm -hmm. There's, there's got to be a better way. Uh, a better way for the to manage the technology, the information that's available um, at the clerk's website, updating it up to the moment. There's no reason why it should be outdated. So I think that whole area can be updated as well, make it easier for everybody and just concise. There should be no recounts. It should be accurate the first time. Joan Malekian is here, candidate for Calhoun County Clerk. We'll take a break and come back in a moment. As uh, we go through the next month or so, running up to the election, we will at times be introducing you to candidates in contested races locally. Joan Malekian is here this half hour, candidate for Calhoun County Clerk. So you talked about customer service and uh, responding to the constituency of the clerk's office in various ways. Have we been lacking there, do you think? I do perhaps think we have been lacking there. Now, I don't think anybody really goes into the clerk's office, the, the average citizen, somebody like me. Um, there, I don't do a whole lot of business there unless I need to right. start a business, get a birth certificate, death certificate, marriage license, things like that. So I don't know the frequency that people actually over their lifetime go into the office. But I think um, there are a lot of realtors with deeds and mortgages that need to go in there, um, getting your concealed weapons permit or filing for that. Mm -hmm. Um I think there needs to be a presence. I think they need to see your face and that you're working and you're readily available to them. They are your bosses. Every single voter that voted for you, you are responsible to. I think you owe them face-to-face -face contact. Certainly you can't be there every moment of every single day, but I think there should be a larger hands-on instead of letting the frontline people handle everything and you're just kind of off on your own. So I do think it, it makes a difference. I know it makes a difference to me as a consumer. So I would certainly hope that um, from our elected officials. Um, I think it does make a big difference. Mm -hmm. You need to be there. You need to be there for your staff. You need to work with them. You need to know what they're doing in order to help manage what they're doing and make it better for 
the voting population. As you've talked to folks about uh, about their concerns in this area, is that one of the things you've heard? And what are some of the other things you've heard? Um, that is one of the complaints I've heard that that there's rarely a presence of her in the office. Um, and it, it could be meetings. I, I can't um, make excuses for her schedule and what she is doing, but I would just think a presence there. I mean, that's where it needs to be. Um, other things I've heard are, you know, raising fees to accommodate for raises for people or uh, things of that nature. I, I don't really know. I try not to listen to a lot of that because that's not what it's about. I'm sure she's done a great job for uh, the 28 years that she has been in there. And it just might be uh, that level of complacency that she is maybe hit. That It's just time for a change. Mm -hmm. And I hope to get that chance to improve that and, and make a change. How do you feel about uh, uh, new ways to vote? This has been an area that is difficult to attack. But when you talk about uh, trying to increase voter participation and voter turnout, boy, if, if we could just figure out a way to um, uh, have uh, easier access to voting, whether it's the Internet or some other way, uh, that could make it easier for some folks. But this is a sticky area, isn't it? Uh Absolutely. Uh, I've thought about that myself. I mean, with the technology and signing into phones and computers and laptops, but you also hear the other side of that, which is hacking into oh, information and manipulating it, which is something like this. You you don't want that risk. So I think at this point in time, the hands-on go to the polling station and vote is the best way. Um, I kind of had a, a hard time when... Uh, I don't know how many elections ago where they stopped requiring you to have your voter registration and mm -hmm. it was just your driver's license. Mm -hmm. And previous to that was just your vote. And then it was both of them. So I, I don't understand that. I would think both pieces of ID would be great, which um, hopefully would not keep potential voters from voting if they don't have that ID. Um, I heard a wonderful idea from um, a colleague and friend, by the, I'll just call him Nathan, he knows who he is, <laughs> but a wonderful idea about working with uh, Secretary of State's office to get those people that are down on their luck, homeless people, getting them their IDs. Um, personally, it does a lot for their self-esteem and who they are. It's like, I do matter. My vote does count. Working with them to waive these fees to get them the ID they need so that their voice can count as much as anybody else's. I think that's a wonderful program and a wonderful idea, and I would be all on board for doing that, um, as well as uh, making all the polling stations ADA accessible. Mm. A lot of them are in disrepair and need to be looked at quite closely, you know, moving them from the schools back to churches. Um uh, you know, great idea for the safety of the children and the schedules and traffic and lines at school. I get that. But let's make sure the places that they are going are senior citizens, um, people with special um, abilities and special needs that need that extra assistance. We've got to make sure that steps or ramps are provided and ample access. Uh, All right. I think that's the way to go. Uh, future just staying pretty much old school at this point. Because it seems to work, and the technology isn't as secure. I, I'm sure that will come in the future. I'm not so sure that November 8th is the time, but <laughs> probably a little crossed. too soon, right? Exactly. <laughs> Fair enough. Joan Malekian's name will be on the ballot in about a month as uh, you decide on the Calhoun County Clerk candidate, and you'll see her name there. Thank you, Joan, for the time today. Thank you so much, Richard. It was my pleasure.